Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to wire a Janus coupler. This is called a Janus coupler. As you can see, it is, it's, it's basically a double adapter with an extension lead. So when you buy an extension cord from the shop, you will find that it's already got the Janus coupler. So there you go, there's the one end of the extension cord and there's the other. So the Janus coupler allows you to take a flexible wire and connect it to these uh, points here, these terminals, and then it allows you to have um, the ability to plug on both sides. Now, what people don't realize is that these couplers have a current rating. For example, this one here says 16 amps. So therefore the wire must be able to handle 16 amps. There's no point having a 16 amp coupler with a very thin wire that can only handle five amps because then the wire is gonna burn out. All right, so I'm just going to show you how to wire one of these up, and then you'll be able to do this for yourself. Right, so I've taken the lid off. You might be wondering how I did that. There were just two screws here. Not all Janus couplers have the same format here. This is quite a nice one because you unscrew that and you already got the terminals. Other couplers, such as this one, require you to open one, two, three, four. You open the whole coupler, you put the uh, wire in, you uh, fasten it, and then you close the whole cover. So this one is quite nice because you only have uh, to work in this area. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unscrew these terminals just using a star screwdriver. There we go. And now you can see what is happening here. One of these is live, one of these is neutral, one of these is earth. And the cable, the um, extension uh, cable is going to go in the middle there. So which is which? All right, so now I'm going to show you how to work that out. This is a multimeter and it makes a noise when it is a short circuit. See? Short circuit, look. Short circuit. Right, so usually it should be printed here, live, neutral. There it is. It says live, earth, neutral. So that means that if I had to just test this, there's an empty plug, as you can see, a plug that's not connected to anything. The live, according to the Janus coupler, says this is live. So can you see that if I touch on the brown, brown is live, it should show me there's a short circuit. Perfect. And if I touch on the other ones, nothing. And if I go to the middle one, should be earth. And if I go to this one, should be neutral. And just to prove it to you, I'm going to put it in the other way around now. And still having the uh, live over here, look. So how, that it, how it did it is if you look here, you'll see that this is a... A reverse of each other. You see, this one goes plugs in in that uh, orientation. When, when you turn it, can you see that it plugs in that orientation? And that is how it makes sure that the live is always on the one side. All right, so all you need to do is you, uh, I'll do it on this side. You will need to cr uh, um, strip your wire a little bit here. Now, this is a wire stripper. Very important is uh, not to gouge or tear the uh, the, um, the 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 protective covering on these wires, and you can see that this uh, uh, distance here is actually very little, so you don't need a lot of wire. So you can see there, I've I've, I've uh, measured it out, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it about there. Uh, the middle one can be shorter, and then there. And then again, I'm going to uh, take off the protective covering. And then twist it in your fingers. And now the live is here on the side. Unfortunately, this is just going on in like that. Usually there's two plates that would uh, compress onto each other. Now if you want to, you can try and align all three at the same time. Uh, be careful of strays. You see there it wants to uh, come loose. So I'm going to push it in there, maybe towards the far side. There we go. And then I'm just going to tighten it. Now, very important is, 
just hold it in place while you're tightening it. And if you could, um, try put it on the left-hand side so that when it tightens, it wants to rotate the wire. You see there, look what it did there. Made a bit of a mess of it. And this is the only problem with couplers that don't have um, uh, plates that come together. You see what it did there. So I'm just going to get that out. Okay, I'm going to do it again. Now I've kept it on the left-hand side. You can see it's better there. And then here, the earth. And then the neutral. Okay, so what you want to look out for is make sure that you tighten it on the uh, wire and not just the jacket. As you can see there, that's just on the jacket when it should be on the wire. I just want to peel this one back a bit. There we go. Right. Now that is tight. Um, now I can depress it into the uh, strain relief here. And that uh, cover is now going to sit on top here and keep it snug. You see what's happening there is a little uh, uh, lip there. And it's going to press here so that this can't come loose. So there you go, there's the colors on this particular one. All right, now I'm just going to test this to show you how it would be. Right, there is the Janus coupler now wired up. I'm going to put my uh, little test uh, plug on there and I'm going to show you there is the live and then there's the extension cord and there is the live. So we can see it's working fine. The other ones should have no conductivity and then if I test the um, neutral, you'll see there's the neutral and then the earth is over there. Okay, so the next step for you if you were making an extension cord would be you'd have a very long wire and then on that side you will just wire these uh, the plug top accordingly. If you want to see how to wire the plug top, please watch my video on how to wire a plug top. So that is how you wire up a Janus coupler. Things to remember, the amperage, if it says 16 amps, make sure the wire is can handle at least 16 amps. Okay, I did manage to find two other types of Janus coupler just to give you an example. See how this one you have to unscrew all these screws and there's actually little nuts at the back and that's what this one looks like. So you can see the methodology is the same, the principle of operation, you see there it is, three uh, terminals which you are connecting to and uh, there you have it. So. In the one that I did the video on, you'll see that this was a, that's all you had to focus on. Whereas here, you can see that they're, letting, they're exposing you to the entire part. And what you will also notice here is this one is nicer because, remember I said it's better if you can uh, put the wire between two uh, flat surfaces instead of around the uh, screw itself. Okay, so there's one. And then one more requires a very small uh, flat screwdriver to be uh, inserted in here. Okay, now this one, as you can see, you're wiring it directly onto the pins here. Um, so there, again, same principle of operation, you just got three uh, terminals here, but it's just in a different place. But what is nice about this one is, can you see the strain relief? Your conductor would would thread like that you see there's your wire so that uh, stops it from uh, doing harsh bends 90 degrees this one hasn't got it but if you look closely you'll see there's a little bracket to hold it on but it kind of looks like that when it's in there and allows it to move quite a lot whereas this one's got that strain relief which is a good design but anyway so there's two different ones so now you are you've seen three altogether. together